Hey, what's up here? This is Casey from Prone Airsoft. I'm doing a review on the JG M4A1. Hey, this is Casey from Prone Airsoft. I'm reviewing the JG M4A1 Enhanced 2011 version. This gun I bought off Airsoft Mega Store for 140 some bucks. And it's a great gun. Now, the orange is starting at the orange tip. It's plastic. I colored it black. Now this barrel is full metal. It's really, it's really like strong. You won't break it. The sight is adjustable for windage. No, for elevation. It's just for the front sight. You can just do the both of them here, and it comes with a piece that you can adjust it with. Now the and now on the receiver. This part is plastic. And this is where you put the battery in. I ha it comes with an 8.4 volt, um, 1200 milliamp, I think. And I'm using that right now. It's okay rate of fire. This is the rate of fire. That's it's not bad. Um, it's pretty suckish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now this is the metal delta ring. This is this is pretty high quality plastic, but I wouldn't trust it as much as this plastic. This whole body is plastic. This, this part, this gray part you see here is plastic, and that is really, really, really strong plastic. I mean, it's, it's really hard. Now, this is metal, this part, and the hop-up is located in there. You pull this back, this is the charging handle, you pull it back, that opens up, and this little wheel is the hop-up, and that is all metal. Now, the magazine release is metal, the trigger is metal, this part, you can open it up if you have gloves on and fat fingers, you can use that. And now, this is plastic, the pistol grip, the magazine that comes with it, 300 round high cap, wind up magazine, and it's, it's a good mag, it's like solid metal and it's soft, I don't know. It, it's good and to take apart this gun is you pop this pin out from here you take like a screwdriver and hit it with a hammer and then it pops out and then if you want you can pop out this screw here right there and then you you kind of pull it down and then it opens up and then you can see where the gearbox is located but to take out the gearbox more. Uh, I just look up some other YouTube videos. It's it's pretty hard. Now um, the sights. This these sights are adjustable. Like I said, this part is metal, but this is plastic. I don't know why they put the carrying handle plastic, but it's a it's really strong plastic, anyways. And now the buffer tube is full metal. It's really solid, same as the barrel. And now um, the stock is high synthetic, like fiber plastic. We have three different plastics here. This plastic, this the super strong plastic, um, this okay plastic, and then this plastic. There's three different kinds. They feel different. And for, okay, for pros and cons, they're for loose pieces, um, pretty much nothing. It's just the, these, the sling mounts or whatever. And these slings, um, these are really solid. I mean, you can put a lot of weight on this. The sling is gonna break, not this. Now, for um, accuracy, if as far as accuracy goes, this gun is really nice for accuracy. It, I mean, it's pretty, pretty accurate, up to 75 feet and more. Now, the FPS, it says it's 430 on on Airsoft Mega Store, but it's actually a little lower. I think it's I think it's the same gearbox as a lot of other JG guns, so I, I really think it's um like 390 or so FPS. And the rate of fire, I'm I don't know exactly, but it's not it's not it's not a bad rate of fire. Um, it, it it's pretty good rate of fire. I showed you already. Um, durability, the durability is a good thing. This is like a really good pro for this gun. I mean, you can throw it around and it's a solid gun. I like it.
and then um, <laughs> uh, selector switch is right here. It's not ambidextrous. It's only on this side for right hands. Um, it does not come like highlighted in white like this. I colored a crayon on it and then wiped like it off crayon. with a napkin and stuff. And then it looks cool. Right I know, even if just a crayon, you might think I'm weird, but actually it looks pretty cool. Same right there. Yeah, and now, uh, the trademarks, there are none, which sucks. Um, there's just no trademarks. I, I don't even know where China sign is either. Dude, I'm going for the corners. Yeah. Um, <laughs> overall, the price, I think it's pretty, pretty good for the price. I mean, this is going to last you a while. It's it, This is just something for intermediate players um, because they, I don't think this will survive in a good high-tech game or whatever. And I recommend it. It's a, it's a great gun. And I just want it to tell you subscribe to Prone Airsoft. We really like it if you subscribe. So see you next time on Prone Airsoft!